Hi everybody, it's Doilis, Kiwi Scrapper from New Zealand. Uh, just here to show you um, something that I've made um, for Irene, seriously scrapping on YouTube. Um, this is for a swap that we decided to do prior to her um, challenges, part one and part two, that I also entered. Um, so I've been busy making lots of things for Irene over the last three weeks or two weeks. Um, so we decided to do a swap and we made the decision that we would do a um, make a mystery gift for one another so that neither of us actually knew what we were making. Um, so I racked my brains to think of what I could do that was different and um, having already just made a tag and an altered box for her challenge. So I was out shopping and I came across some um, in my local craft or in the craft shop in the city I came across some um, large letters um, paper mache letters so they're very lightweight but sort of substantial at the same time. So this is the letter I for Irene. Um, I've never altered a letter but um, so it, it was a bit of a challenge to know how to start and where to start and what to do. Um, I d decided to do it in vintage style, as I've never done vintage style before. Um, I've done some projects in Shabby Chic, um, and I've done one in Moulin Rouge for Irene's Challenge. Um, so vintage um, is a new style for me. I admire other people doing it greatly, um, so I thought I'd tackle it myself and just see what I could do. So to start with, as I say, this was um, a paper mache um, unpainted letter I. Um, the first thing I did was I um, put two layers of gesso on, which you can see there. I've turned it into a wall hanging um, so that Irene can hang it wherever she wants. Um, so after I gessoed it, I started working on the top bit not really having any um, clear idea of what I was go going to do or where I was going with it. Um, so I just put some um, vintage soft tulle, ivory coloured tulle over it. Um, and this is from a, um, a baby bassinet cover that I've had for probably two or three years. Just I saw it in a shop, uh, an op shop and I grabbed it. Um, so I've wrapped that around, glued it and then I started putting the um, ivory coloured, well in actual fact against the, against the pearls it looks actually quite white. So maybe it's white vintage tulle. tulle. Um, and these are ivory string pearls, they're not flat back, they're the whole complete pearls. So I, I wrap them around at the top there, wrap them around it. Um, And then I came back and started putting some flowers on. Um, as always, I've used some Wild Orchid Craft products. This is a Wild Orchid Craft White Orchid. Wild Orchid Craft Cream um, Open Rose, I believe it's called. Um, those are the two Wild Orchid Craft ones there. Oh no, this, this is a Wild Orchid Craft one up here. The, the one with the um, some kind of lily or something, I don't know what it is. But, um, it's white with pearls in the centre and pearl spray. This is a um, an ivory coloured um, medallion piece of lace which came in a, a metre and I'm pretty sure that might have been piece by piece on Etsy. It was one of the Etsy shops and I, I know I bought some lace off her so that could be one of hers. Um, this is a lovely little organza frilly cloth flower with a crystal centre that um, I buy them from my local, um, I say local, it's actually the city which is like a 40 minute drive from me, but it's local for me as I'm quite rural. Um, so I get them from, from her, a little craft shop and I buy um, different colours of them. So that completed that little corner there. Oh, before I started on those, after I put, well, even before I put the tulle in, I actually put these little um, organza um, 
hangings with pearls, they're like tassels with pearls, um, which I actually took off a, um, a child's hairband, um, which I bought a few years ago, and I just cut them off, and they make very nice tassels. So they went on first, then the churl, then the group of flowers here. Um, and there's also a bit of, I keep forgetting what I've done here, there's also a piece of um, vintage white nylon lace here, which I feel goes right across as a 1950s piece. Um, then I put this, um, it's sort of a, kind of a braid, it can have a ribbon through it, but I didn't put one through because I wanted it to be um, all in white and cream. That went right around it, and then I this flat back, large flat back pearl that I got off eBay. Um, so that completes the top there. I then went around to the back, and um, I found this large um, iridescent bow with a white satin bow in it, and a little, I don't know, it's supposed to be a rose, I think, that I bought off eBay um, a number of years ago when I was doing baby dresses. I've got quite a pile of those, um, and they've got a spray of white string pearls attached to them. So I thought that would be good to use as the hanger. So that was placed there so that Irene can hang it from that. And that's the, the braid that was around the front. So that's all I did on the back because it's going to, um, needs to lay flat against a wall so I didn't want to do a lot. So that's the, um, I don't know whether you can catch the iridescent sheen on that, but it's there. Okay. Um, I bought some things off a um, Etsy shop and sadly I can't remember the name of it um, and she sent me, um, they weren't trims, they were two little angel cushions and with glitter on them and things, very pretty. She sent me this, um, or two or three bits of this as, as a sort of a free gift um, and it's got a fancy, um, I think it's a Byzantine cross on it, so it could be a, an Irish Celtic cross, I'm not sure which, probably Byzantine I think, um, on a sort of a beige background, so it's probably a stamp and it's done on a sort of a calico fabric, so I thought that looked really pretty there, so I, that went on, then I placed on either side of that, I placed silvery flat back pearls, just to give something at the side, without doing too much. Um, I then came down to the bottom of it and um, I used a very pretty um, fringed braid which is all ivory pearlized. That's lovely. That's from a local sh uh, one of the shops in the city, um, Spotlight, which is quite a large shop here in Australasia. There's a good craft centre um, section. Uh, then I placed some white orchid craft um, Ooh, I think I think they're lilies of some kind, sort of in a peachy browny mocha colour. Uh, and this is the Wild Orchid Craft spray flower, white satin flower, which is the same as the one up here. Came over here and I put oh before I did that I put a trim of um, uh, sort of medallions that was got from Spotlight locally as well, I believe. That goes all the way around on top of the fringing. Then I put the white orchid craft flowers. Uh, and then I put this little bling um, flower, which I got off eBay, I think. I think, yes. Um, this is part of an applique. Um, so I cut just that bit off there, because otherwise it would have been too big, and popped it in there. And this is this, um, a stick pin. I actually have only just started making stick pins, so I'm, I'm really quite pleased about that. Um, so that one went in there. Um, just going to show you um, a couple of others I've made for this swap. And since Irene won't see this um, video um, until she's received the, pres the, the, the swap parcel anyway, I can show you those. Um, so these are my first attempts at doing um, pins along with that one. These three came already came with the sort of crystal top and this one was just plain so I stuck a pearl in there. I mean they're not brilliant but 
they're okay for a first attempt, I think. But yeah, so that um, actually makes up the um, this little thing for our mystery swap. So that stands, I you know, I guess maybe ten inches high, and we need to get some. The fringe is going everywhere at the moment. Um, let's see, just get a close up there of it. I hope I'm in the light. You never see that. And David will be telling me off. Okay, so that's my husband, David. He's always telling me, get us in the light. Okay, so... That's my first attempt at um, vintage. And... Um, you know, I, I think it came out okay. This was quite a difficult project to do because it's sort of irregular shapes. Um, and obviously you can only do the ones, you know, the side and the front surface of it. Okay, so I hope Irene likes it. As I say, I'm not going to put the video up until she's let me know that she's received it. This is going out in the post tomorrow to Irene. Um, and once she lets me know that she's received it and opened it, then I can pop this video up. So I hope everybody likes it, particularly Irene. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.